Cheers. Cheers. And welcome to Wine Wednesday. This week we're speaking about hip bursitis, what it is, what makes it worse, what makes it better, things like that. So you okay. want to get started so I can drink? Okay, <laughs> uh, we have bursa all throughout our body and a bursa is just a fluid filled sac uh, with synovial fluid that reduces friction between either two bones, a tendon over a bone, or between muscles. So, Could you talk like regular person? Isn't that what I just said? Like non-doctoral? Okay, fine. Yeah. All right, it's, it's a pillow that's filled with fluid <laughs> that reduces friction. Oh, you made fun of me for saying it like that. No, I didn't. <clears throat> anyway, yes, so... did. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's always entertaining. So, um, bursa. anyway, so sometimes, sometimes the bursa are compressed. Everybody wonders why Will you please stop? Drink? <laughs> okay, anyway, so bursa can be irritated by chronic irritation that, um, at, at the site of friction. In the hip, you've got this band of fascia called the tensor fascia lata, which starts as a muscle excuse me, the IT band, which starts as a muscle called the tensor fascia lata, that passes right over the greater trochanter. So every time you flex your hip, you extend your hip, it turns in or out, like say when you're walking or going up and down steps, uh, or hold a position where there's compression, you can irritate it and make it worse. It is quite painful and oftentimes uh, debilitating. Anything, anything else you want to add in common speak, maybe? <laughs> I think Tiffany spoke it all out. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. That's uh, the essence of hip bursitis, otherwise known as trochanteric bursitis. Okay. Oh, Alright. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.